Now take in detail the discrete random probability distribution which is based on the possibility of occurrence of all values of the random variable over the sample space. If x is a x is a random variable belongs to a r space. So r may be the maximum possibility is 0, 1, 2 and so on to infinity. But there can be limited possibilities. For example, if we toss a dice, a dice has six possibilities, one, two, three, and so on. So in this case, the sample space is one, two, four, five, and six. But the condition is that every occurrence here has equal possibility and the probability is if we draw on a curve x and fx for tossing a dice the possibilities are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the probability of occurrence is take a different color the probability of occurrence of 1 is nothing but 1 by 6. And the same is over here. Same is over here. So this is this is the we call uniform discrete probability distribution. So this is, but the condition for having fx considered fx as probability density function is if it satisfies all three conditions. One is that every value should be or for every value of the random variable the value of the probability must be more than or equal to zero. Second summation of all the probabilities like 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 6 times we get 1 must be equal to 1 and this is a function which will define your probability of the value of random variable over the domain of the random variable or sample space. So these three conditions if exist we consider it discrete probability distribution. Now if we see here the relationship between probability distribution and cumulative probability distribution. The relationship is probability of getting x less than or equal to x is called cumulative probability density function. Now if you see here for a particular probability distribution I take the same example here tossing a dice having six possibilities 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 for the value of x. What is the probability distribution there? It's having 1 by 6, 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 1 by 6. Summation of all fx will be equal to 1 because 
this point give us a value 1 by 6 and fx is nothing but equal to 1 by 6. Now if we convert this into cumulative probability density function fx then the probability for 1 will remain the same but probability for 2 will change 3 further change 4 5 and 6 these probabilities these cumulative probabilities will change because they will be governed by the relationship that the probability of cumulative probability of 2 doesn't does mean that the probability up to all less than 2 so the probability of getting uh, just change the color perhaps let's have blue probability of getting 1 cumulative probability is 1 by 6 but probability of getting 2 will be probability of getting 1 plus probability of getting 2 so it will become 2 by 6 and so on 3 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 6 by 6 so obviously you are going to have mm -hmm. so now we see that for the value of x as 6 the cumulative probability value is 1.0 so that, that way we can say that cumulative probability is the probability up to that point, particularly having the probability maximum up to 1. Now these things will be more clear when we solve some of the examples. Now look at the example. Determine the value of C so that each of the following functions can serve as a probability distribution of the discrete random variable x. We have already cleared about uh, the conditions which are important for considering any function to be the probability distribution is that summation of all the probabilities over the domain of x variable must be equal to 1. Then only we consider and every probability must be more than or equal to 0. If, if these two conditions exist, we can call that function to be the probability density function. Now in this example also, imposing this condition only, we can find out the value of the given constant in the equation.